Hello, welcome. It's Joe Bendel here, and my next party guest is Emma Weiss. Am I saying that right, Emma? Wise. <laughs> Emma Wise. It's Emma Wise. Um, <laughs> I just want to check, I should have checked that first. So Emma creates brand experiences. Um, so sometimes she can be found whipping up delicious elements like logos, ebooks, and manifestos, or mentoring clients to create a full experience that attracts the right clients. And her focus is on giving women confidence in their business brands so that they can go out there and make their saucy difference in the world. So <laughs> welcome, Emma. Um, firstly, I don't like know... Um, which of my effortless productivity topics are you focusing on today? Is it fun, fast, or on target? Well, I thought we'd play with fun for a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the fun. So what I'm going to yeah. do is um, I'm going to hit the timer and pass over to you for um, for you to share your juicy tips with us. So over to you. I have three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Awesome. Thanks. Well, when I thought about your topic and what you do is around effortless productivity, and I thought about when I started and how I was not effortlessly productive at all because I wasn't clear on my brand. And I think that, you know, it's one thing that really held me back and stopped me from making traction in my business. So that's why I'm so passionate about it with the entrepreneurs that I work with. Um, and I think, you know, when people think about a brand, they think it's just your logo. But for me, it's more about the entire experience you're creating for a brand. So how are you going to attract the right clients? What is, where is this business going? Um, and what's the experience you're giving them? What are you offering them? And um, how are you delivering that? So how are you really meeting their needs? So that whole experience is an actual brand. And um, in terms of my clients today, when they come and chat to me, it's, you know, the main thing that holds them back from being productive is not being clear enough. So it, it really stores them, whether, it, whether they're trying to create social media graphics or whether they are trying to um, decide whether to take on a client or not, or should they actually, um, how do they send their proposal, what goes into it, all of those sorts of decisions really impact your, your brand. So we talk about that, but you know, getting clear on your brand, if you don't inject who you are, and this is where the fun comes in, if you don't inject who you are into your brand, then you can create a beautiful brand. And I did that. I created a lovely brand. It looked great. It spoke to the right people. But because it wasn't me, even though it said all the right things, I wasn't having any fun. So it was only when I started whipping in my awesome sauce, I like to call it your awesome sauce, that what makes you unique and special and different when you start whipping that into your brand, that's when you really start having fun with it. You know, yeah, that's, that's the essence of, of what I wanted to share with it's you. It's so brilliant because... because um, it's like nutshell. <laughs> yeah, no, it's perfect. And you know what? I really can relate to the whole um, awesome source thing because, you know, I think... Well, I certainly didn't do it to start with when I first started in, in business. You know, it was just like, oh, I've got to do it. I should be doing it this way and I've got to be professional. And now I am... 100% authentically Joe in everything I put out and I am enjoying myself so much that then people are then like you know you're inspiring and motivating I want to work with you so it's it yeah absolutely, I, absolutely. and the other point that you said um, which I'm really related to is about the clarity and it's the same thing. Yeah. If you are not 100% clear on what you're trying to focus on, you will procrastinate. You will you know you will be distracted. So um, yeah. so yeah, really top tips. Thanks. And it's, it's whether you choose pink or blue, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I know. Who, am I, who am I attracting? What am I doing? And the decisions yeah. just get chaotic. Yeah. yeah so if you want to get, you want to get clear, get clear on your brand. <laughs> yes. I love it. Thank you. It's not, cause it's yeah. not, it's not necessarily an area that we focus on straight away. So, or, or the opposite is we do, we've got that perfection. Yeah. So another thing that I say in my business is about taking imperfect action. Um, and that's a classic example with your brand. You know, if your logo isn't perfect, it doesn't matter. Because it's okay no. for now. Your clients actually don't no. mind, or potential clients no. don't mind. So, um, yeah. Absolutely. I uh, often advise clients to actually get their business set up before they come to me for branding because you're going to change, you're going to evolve. Yeah. So you need to put things out there, be imperfect, and, and start attracting the right people to you, and then you, then you know what you want to do. 
Exactly, yeah. And I feel like yeah. I could talk to you for ages about this, which is very Absolutely. <laughs> um, but um, as I am promising my tribe to keep them short and yes. uh, valuable. Yes. So thank you. Um, really grateful to have your um, tips. And if anybody would like to find out more about Emma, then I will link to her website. And so you can um, yeah, find out more about her. So thank you ever so much for coming to the awesome. party and um i look forward thanks to thanks so having me my pleasure yeah, and I can't, wait to, I can't wait to see all the others i think it's gonna be awesome yes i know it's been a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs>